Hello friends, I hope you're doing well. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to animate pots in a travel map at the same time how to track the pot with a plane in Keynote. So let's get into it. So friends, as you can see, I have got an image here um, and I have taken the screenshot of the Google Earth. You can also take the screenshot from Google Map or you can download the map images from um, different websites available online. And also it is recommended that um, you uh, download the high resolution um, image so that you get better result when you are done with the animation. So right now we're going to draw our travel pot. To do that we go to the shape menu here and from there we grab the uh, draw with pen tool and then we draw the pot. Uh, first we create the starting point and then let's say we travel through China to Mongolia. We double click to end the pot. Right and now we can adjust the pot. To do that we go to the format here format menu and then here we have different options. We can choose the lines, we can add the dots if we want um, yeah and then we can change the color as well uh, according to preference and we can obviously um, adjust the width below. Right we can then add drop shadow if we, if we want and you can adjust the blur offset and opacity according to preference. You also can adjust the angle Right, so now we are going to add a plane here, uh, which is going to track along the pot. Um, to do that, we go to the shape again and then search for plane. I already have searched for it. And here we have different planes and choose whatever you like to use. Um, and then we got a plane here and place it at the beginning of the line. Uh, and now we have to rotate it. If you don't see this option, just go to arrange sub menu under the format menu and then we rotate it according to preference right so now uh, we are going to animate the uh, line and plane okay so now we select the line and then we go to animation from there built-in add effect add an effect and then line draw as you can see it's quite fast so we are increasing the duration um, to around yeah, let's say six seconds. Okay, let's preview it now. Another thing we can do, we can make a curve actually, um, so that it will be looking better because it's otherwise looks very straight line. Uh, to do that, we just simply click here. If you click on the line, you will see there is a middle point and then just drag it to the top. And similarly, we do it here. You also can create more points. As I move the mouse cursor, there are different point shows. We can click on this and then we can expand according to preference if we need. Right, so now we have to uh, readjust the plane again. Therefore, we go to Format, Arrange, and then Rotation, Position. Yeah, you can adjust the position here as well, or you can use your keyboard. Right, we got it. Now, let's preview the line first. looks good now we are going to animate the plane first we change the color to do that we go to format and then style here we can change the color we also can add shadow if we want I think it's better since we have added the shadows um, with the line so yep now we animate it so we go to animate and then action from there first we add rotate change the angle value to zero rotations value 60 and then we change the duration to 0.3 second and now let's preview it okay and then 
we add another animation and that is move now we drag this line to the end point and now we create a middle point here to do that double click on it and as you can see that point has become square now drag it to here and now we are going to um, make a curve so click on the point and then just drag it to here similarly we are making the curve here too okay and now we change the duration to six second let's play it right it's moving but uh, it's not moving um, along the path so to fix it we click on this um, align to path option now let's check it great it looks better right so now um, we have to add animation at the end as well and to do that we add one more animation click on add action and then rotate and then we change the angle to 180 and now let's preview it yeah it's better right so now we go back to build water and then first airplane rotation and we change it to width build one then airplane move with build one here we change it to after build three okay right so we can do one more thing and that is we can add a uh, end point and uh, starting point in the line it just you know it's not essential if you just want to make it uh, catchy uh, then that's what we can do for adding end point and starting point uh, in the line uh, we go to the format menu and then style and from there under the stroke menu you get start point and also the end point as you can see a point has been created so it just looks better when we do it right now let's play the animation before we export it it looks better right right so now I'm going to show you how to export this um, animation as a movie uh, to do that we go to file menu here from the export and then movie here keep all this setting as it is um, and then um, resolution I would also recommend to go with 1920 by 180 however you can reduce the uh, resolution if you want right um, and I also would recommend to go with um, 60 fps uh, because if you need you always can reduce however if you need a higher frame rate you cannot produce higher frame rate if you get it exported with lower frame rate so uh, it's better to go with 60 fps and here compression type i would recommend to go with uh, the default setting however uh, you can go with the other ones depending on your requirements right and then hit next name the file choose the location and export right so now let's play the animation so friends this is how you can create a travel map animation with keynote i hope this tutorial will help you thanks for watching i will see you next time goodbye